On some levels 2022 was a good year for FPV, mainly because of two reasons. One, we got the Cadix Wok Snail Digital FPV system. Two, DJI released O3A units and goggles too. Today let's talk about the second one. With the O3A units and goggles too, quite a lot of changed in the DJI ecosystem. You know, new is always better, the new goggles are smaller, O3A units has the better better image quality and finally we got the official MSP display port OSD. However, at the same time we started losing compatibility between different products from the DJI FPV series. This video is a short walkthrough of which DJI products will work with your DJI goggles depending on which version of the DJI goggles you have. Bear in mind we will skip the topic of the DJI FPV PV drone, DJI Avata and DJI controller and DJI controller 2. We will talk only about the DJI video transmission products designed for the do-it-yourself FPV. When that's clear, let's go! By the way, this video was created thanks to my Patreons and YouTube channel members. Thank you guys for your continuous support. You're the main reason this channel keeps going and I'm able to record videos like that for you. If you're not one of them, then please consider of becoming one for as little as two bucks a month. And yeah, you will get some special benefits and treatment. And now, one more time, let's go! First, let's explain the mess with the naming of the DJI goggles. Currently, we have three generations of the DJI goggles that work with the do-it-yourself FPV drones. First of all, we have the DJI FPV goggles, which right now we call the V1. Those are those biggish goggles that showed on the market a few years ago and were the first generation of the publicly available good quality commercial digital FPV system. Then there are the DJI FPV goggles V2. They showed up on the market together with the DJI FPV drone. From the outside look almost exactly like the DJI FPV goggles V1, however have the different insights. And then there are 2022 DJI goggles Two. You see where the problem is? We have the FPV goggles V2 and goggles 2. And please, don't tell me you get this marketing strategy from DJI. <sighs> what a mess. So we have FPV goggles V1, FPV goggles V2 and goggles 2. Two. If this is clear, let's dive into what works with what. First, the FPV goggles V1. They work only with the Air units and Vistas. They do not work with the O3 Air units and they do not offer the MSP DisplayPort OSD, at least with the official firmware. To have the MSP DisplayPort OSD on them, you have to use the WTF OS. On top of that, those goggles goggles do not work with the DJI FPV drone and the DJI Avata, but kinda that was obvious. Then we have the FPV goggles V2. And you know what? They are the most compatible goggles out there. They work with basically everything. They work with original Air units, Vistas, O3 Air units, DJI FPV drone and DJI Avata. Of course, you will have to have the latest firmware installed on them and depending on with which kind of the hardware you want to use them, you will have to switch modes. But ultimately, they will work with everything. And you will even get the MSP DisplayPort OSD on the official firmware. And then comes the goggles too. And they are compatible with almost everything. With the latest firmware, they will work with the original Air units, Vistas, O3 Air units and DJI Avata. But they will not work with the DJI FPV drone. Interesting marketing choice if you ask me. Plus, there is the extra mess factor included. The fact that the original Air units and Vistas work with the DJI FPV goggles V1, V2 and 
and goggles too doesn't mean that they work with all of them at once. Depending if you will want to use them with the FPV goggles V2 or goggles 2, you will have to flash a different firmware into them. If you flash the firmware that make them work with the FPV goggles V2, they no longer work with the goggles 2. And if you flash them with goggles 2 firmware, they no longer work with the FPV goggles V2. Anyhow, in the description you will find a link to the cheat sheet PDF that hopefully explains everything. Just a nice and small matrix table of what works with what on which firmware version. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!